there guys, so welcome back to another video and in this one we're going to be creating a random name selector app using Flutter. If you're not too sure what Flutter is, it's a Google framework which allows you to write dark code and the app will be able to run on iOS and Android. As you can see here, we've got our Android emulator up and running. So I'm not using iOS today, maybe in a future video I will. I just want to point out as well that I'm not going to worry too much about the styling of this app in this video. I'm going to leave that up to you because I just want to keep things simple. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get started. The first thing we need to do is go ahead and create our float project. I'm using Visual Studio Code. You can use whatever you want. I'm going to open up a new terminal and navigate to my documents folder. This is because this is where I want my uh, project to be. And to create a float project, it's Flutter create. We're going to add Android X compatibility. So if you want to use Firebase in the future or something like that, it's going to allow you to add it because if you don't add this, it's going to be an absolute nightmare. And then we need a project name. I'm just going to call this uh, name selector, call it whatever you want, press enter. And then it's going to create our project. Now that we've created the project, we can go ahead and open it up. I'm going to go to open folder and it is name selector, select that folder. We're going to open up the lib folder now and go into main.dart and you can see here that we've just got some random code already generated. Uh, I'll run this and just show you what it does. So let's open up a new terminal and type in flutter run, press enter and that's going to run on our emulator. Let's switch to our device view and you can see that we've got the demo app up and running. If you press this button, it's going to tell you how many times you press the button. So it's pretty useless. So let's go back to our code. I'm going to remove absolutely everything because I like to start from scratch. Let's import material. Uh, it's package and then flutter material dot dart. We're also going to import another package here. This is going to be dart math because we're going to need this later on. Let's create our main method. I'm going to run app and we're going to need a class in here. I'm going to call this random selector. It's going to come up with whenever. This is because we've not created that class yet. So let's go ahead and do that right now. It's going to extend stateless widget. We are going to create a stateful widget in a minute. Let's create our build method. We're also going to need a build context in here. And we're going to return material app. If we run this right now, it's just going to come up with an error. So I'm not going to do that. Instead, we're going to create our stateful widget. But before we do that, let's set home to home. We're not created that. Let's create that right now. Class home extend stateful widget. We're going to override. State stateful widget. We're going to create state. And we're just going to return underscore home state. Let's create that right now. Class home state extend state home which is here and then we're going to override again and create our build method. This is going to need a build context. And we're going to return scaffold like so. Now we have the structure of the app all set up. We can actually go ahead and add some widgets. But before we add any major widgets, I'm just going to set a app bar. And this is going to be a app bar widget. And we're going to set the title to a text widget. For the value, I'm going to say random name selector. 
let's add some styling text style set the color to black the font size to 20 and then the font weight to 900 like so let's change that we're also going to center this title and that's pretty easy to do let's set center title to true and we're also going to change the background color of this app bar to white all right let's save and refresh and now we've got a nice looking app bar at the top now we're going to add our list view and for the time being it's just going to be a list view with hard-coded uh, data in there just for the time being but later on we're going to change this so it's dynamic but I do need a list view for the time being um, just to get this app up and running and to do this we need to go into body and we're going to create a column for the children we're going to add a expanded widget this just fills in the empty space and for the child this is going to be a list view and for that we're going to add some children let's add a list tile just for the time being and set the title to a text widget name one I'm going to copy this a couple of times just to save some time like so name one name two and name three let's go back to our emulator and refresh and you can see here that we've got our list view let's go ahead and add our other widgets so let's go to our column we're gonna add another expanded widget uh, for the child it's going to be padding let's set the padding to this edge insets dot all set that value to 20 for the child it's going to be a column i'm going to set some properties here so the main axis alignment is going to be end and then the cross axis alignment is going to be a uh, stretch all right set the children first one's going to be a text widget let's set the value here to add new name i'm going to add some style into that color colors dot black and then the font weight font weight we're going to set this to 600 let's add a row set the children the first one's going to be expanded set the child to uh, text field this is where we're going to import our new name set the decoration to input decoration content i hate it when it doesn't auto suggest i don't know why it does that content padding this is going to be edge insets dot only set the top padding to 10 and then the bottom also the same okay and we're going to set is dense to true all right so we've got our expanded widget let's add a raise button The child is going to be text and this is just going to be add on pressed we're not going to do anything with this just yet but this button is when you click it it's going to add this um this new name to the list and uh yeah so we've done all that now we need a random name button and what this essentially does you tap that button it's going to tell you a random name out of that list and um, so under row we're going to add a builder and you may be confused uh, why we're adding a builder this is because we want to show a snack bar with the uh, random name and this is the only way to do it because um, unfortunately for some reason uh, if you want to show a snap bar you need the context and it can't find the scaffold context 
unless you have the builder. So it's a little bit confusing. Uh, again, I do apologize for that. So let's set the builder to, we need the context. It's gonna be a raise button. This is where our button's gonna be. This is all we need. Let's set the child to a text widget. Get random uh, name. All right. On pressed. I'm not gonna do anything with this just yet. I'm gonna do all that later on. And uh, let's just see how it looks in our emulator. Let's refresh. And there we go. So we've got our text field. We've got our add button right here. And then get random name. Now we're going to go ahead and create our list. And that list is going to be full of names. And we're also going to need a text editing controller that we can set to our text field. And uh, yeah, so let's go to the top here. Um, we're going to create a list. list this is going to be uh, with a type of string I'm going to call this name it's going to be equal to an empty list so let's add some values in here so the first one's going to be Jonathan next one's going to be uh, Billy Lucy and then Bob all right let's create a text editing controller going to call this name controller equal to text editing controller like so all right so let's assign this name controller to our text field which is right here controller uh, name controller I'll show you what this does in a little bit we're going to change this uh, list view to a list view builder so I'm just going to remove all of this and create a list view dot builder. Okay. All right. So for the item count, this is going to be names dot length. And then for the builder, we need our context and then our uh, index. All right, we're just going to return a dismissible. Let's get rid of this. For the key, it's going to be a unique key. And then on dismissed, we're going to remove um, that name from the list so if we like uh, if we swipe to the right or to the left on the item it's just gonna remove it from the list uh, so we're gonna set state names dot remove at index like so uh, for the child this is gonna be a list tile and then the title is going to be text. And this is just going to be names index. All right. Let's just go back to our emulator. Refresh this. And there we go. We've got our list of names. We now need to create a method called add to list. And that method is going to check if the text field is empty. If it's not empty, it's going to add that name to the list and then the list view. So let's go to the bottom and create this right now. It's going to be a void because it's not returning anything. Add to list. All right, we're going to do an if statement. So if name controller dot text dot is not empty, then we're going to add it to the list but we need to set state basically this is just like refreshing it names dot add name controller dot text 
This ain't going to work yet because we need to add it to our on-pressed um, functionality here. Add to list. Let's open up our emulator. I'm just going to hot refresh. And then we can type something in here. So test. I'm going to add that. And there we go. Test. All we have to do now is uh, generate a random name and this is going to be in this uh, get random name button. So in the on pressed here, we're going to, this is where our random comes in because you can see here that we've imported uh, this package. Um, so we're going to create a variable called random. It's going to be equal to a random instance. All right, and now we're going to create a scaffold. Uh, excuse me, we're going to create a snack bar. And what a snack bar is, is basically a little uh, widget at the bottom that pops up uh, with some text inside it. So um, I'm going to type scaffold dot of. It's going to need a context dot show snack bar. Now we're going to add a snack bar widget. Snack bar. The content is going to be a text widget. I'm going to set this here to random name is. And then we're just going to concatenate names. Random dot next in. And then this is going to be uh, names dot length. Like so. All right, let's see how it's working. So I'm going to go to my emulator, do a hot refresh. Let's click uh, get random name. Random name is Bob. It's working perfect. And then we'll do it again. Random name is Jonathan. And that is pretty much it. So that's how to create a random name selector in Flutter. I do apologize if this video is all over the place. I'll be honest with you, I try and practice, but I kind of like to go with the flow and see where it takes me. And uh, I'm trying to be more professional in my videos, and sometimes I can be a little bit sloppy, but we all feedback that will help me uh, tons. But thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And if you want to see more content like this in the future, feel free to subscribe and ring that bell button. And uh, yeah, have a great day.